Hello, I'm IceColdFreezy, and welcome to my complete view model rendering tutorial for Team Fortress 2. Um, just a few things first. Um, this is only going to change the first person model. Um, I'm going to have some more tutorials out later that change the world view and animation and all that stuff. And um, this is largely Ascentix's creating a weapon tutorial for CSS. I just um, ported it over to Team Fortress 2. And also thanks to Snapples and Superaldo for their tutorials. They helped me a lot. Um, Alright, so we're going to be making a really simple cylinder for a replacement as the wrench for the engineer. Um, this isn't going to go in depth for modeling or animation or texturing. This is just how to do it. So, yeah. Start off, make a folder, we're going to call it um, view wrench. And inside, we're going to make three folders one called textures, input, and output. Alright, we close that. Um, first things first, open up uh, 3ds Max. And I'm going to turn on snaps and click cylinder and just make a cylinder. Um, I'm going to change my radius to 2 my height to 70. Um, the sizes don't really matter because they're going to be scaling it later so when you're making your own custom model don't worry about how big it is. I'm going to right click it oh. right click convert to editable poly and in the modifier list, scroll down and click Unwrap UVW. Um, click Edit, Control A to select everything. Actually, cancel that. Um, click Face and then Edit, and then Control A to select everything. And then this is a cylinder, obviously, so we're going to click the cylindrical button and try out the different types of aligns to see which one works best. Uh, line Z works best over here, so. You can just close that, go to the Utilities, More, and find Textporter. Um, Source Engine can only process pictures in powers of 2, so we're going to change this to 512 by 512. Um, we're going to pick Object and select the Cylinder. So here we just have a basic skin. Um, I'm going to save it in ViewWrench textures as wrench and a bitmap. Um, OK, close. And then you can press M, click the box next to diffuse, bitmap, and find the bitmap you just made. And then click this button and this button to apply it and then show it in this box. So we can see it completely covers everything. And it looks pretty. So I'm just going to save this project as wrench and then file export um, in the same place as wrench but you're going to change the file type to an SMD. Save it. Um, check export reference SMD. OK and OK and you're done with that. Um, next open up GCFscape and you're going to open Team Fortress 2 content.gcf go to TF uh, models weapons V models and scroll all the way down the list and then another window open up input and you're going to grab all the vwrench engineer files from GCFscape and just drag them over to your input folder. And open vrunchengineer.mdl in Notepad. At the beginning you're going to see an IDST0. Change the 0 to a comma and then save it and close it. So now go to where you saved um, or your source SDK folder. Find MDLD compiler. Open it up. Oh, by the way, it should be in um, 
source SDK slash bin slash ep1 slash bin. That's like the only place it'll work. So open it up. Uh, go to the MDL. And in the next box, select your output folder. And down here, uncheck everything and click extract. And if this box doesn't pop up, just click extract again until it does. Sometimes you have to click it a few times. And now in your output folder, we have a bunch of stuff. So now you can open up Milkshake. Milkshake. Go to File, Import, Half-Life SMD. And find, in your output folder, do vWrench Engineer. Um, check all three things and click OK. Now file import Half-Life SMD and go to your wrench.smd that you just made. And as you can see, it's way out of proportion. That's perfectly fine and expected. So go to groups and double click wrench.bmp. Um, That'll select it. And go back to model and scale it by 0.9 on all axes. Oh, whoa. Point nine. Um, you can see there's a wrench here. The ultimate goal is to just kind of position the cylinder over the wrench as close as possible. Um, this is going to take trial and error when you're making a real model. Is how you position it here um, determines how it shows up in game. Like if you position it too high, say, then it will appear to be clipping into your hand in-game. So you're going to have to probably do this step a few times or get really good at it. Um, I'd say that's good enough for now. Um, so once you're happy, um, deselect everything. Go over to your Joints tab, and scroll down to find Weapon Bone. And if you click Select Assigned, you'll see it um, selects the wrench. And what we want to do is replace that with the cylinder. So deselect, go to Groups, and double-click Wrench, uh, Joints, and under Weapon Bone, click Assign. So now, if you click Select Assigned, it'll select the wrench and the cylinder. So we can go back into groups and delete models weapons vwrench and do the same in materials. So now the only thing under weapon bone is your cylinder. So we're done with milk shape. We can save this as wrench and export Half-Life SMD. Um, go into your output folder and overwrite the wrench engineer and yes you want to replace it save it as a reference okay and now you're really done with milk shape um, change of pace open up photoshop or whatever you use to make pictures with i think paint will work too um, you can file open your wrench.bitmap that you made and if you're going to skin your weapon, here's where you would do it. I'm just going to put some red dots on here. Just for no reason. It's pretty. And then you can save it. And close.